Since the majority have voted for creating new shader graph tutorial, I must do something related to that. And I wanted to create something to control the emissions of the materials, so the first thing came to mind is the one ring from the Lord of the Rings. There are markings. It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are few who can. It says one ring to rule them all. One ring to find them. One ring to bring them all. And in the darkness, find them. This. So, to get started, we need uh, the one ring model, but I don't have experience in modeling or 3D world, so I decided maybe we can find a good ring to start the tutorial with. So I searched in Sketchfab, I couldn't find a nice free one to start with. So I thought, why not we create it ourselves? But the problem is I don't have any experience in modeling. I heard about software called Blender, so I went there and downloaded Blender and searched for a tutorial to create the one ring in Blender. And luckily, I found a tutorial that has been published two weeks ago. I found the one ring tutorial on the channel called Default Cube. Seems the owner of this channel is a talented artist and I advise you to subscribe to his channel and I owe all the credits for creating this ring to him. So let's open Blender and create a new project, delete the default cube and create a new mesh a cylinder since it's the nearest object to the ring. The first thing we need to do is to scale it on the y-axis to make it narrower. Then in the edit mode, we can choose to select the faces, to select the top and bottom faces of the cylinder and delete them. Then we click Ctrl and R to add a circle that splits the mesh in the middle of the cylinder, then we scale that on the Z and X axis to get this shape. Then we go back to the object view mode, then click Ctrl and 4 or 5 to smooth the edges and get that well-rounded ring shape. The next thing to do is to get the one ring ins inscription which will be the texture that will be as an emission from the ring. So I just googled about that and found some inscription, but there were PNG or JPEG uh, extension which have low quality and not high quality. So I found one which is a vector EPS file. I opened that in Photoshop it allows you to increase the size of the texture without losing the quality. So I set the size something like 4K for 4,000 pixel height and width, then save it as PNG. The next thing to do is to set the UV map, which allows the texture to go around the ring perfectly. So you need to select the edges, select any two edges of the ring and then mark as seam to set as a start and end point when we unwrap the UV. Then click on the UV, unwrap and on the left we'll see that the ring has been converted to a flat UV representing the texture that will wrap the ring. The only problem now is the beginning and the end of this UV is not perfect rectangles. To unfix that, we need to select the points on the right, do resize on the x-axis for the points on the right and the left, but for the points on the top and the bottom of the of this rectangle, we need to resize them on the y-axis to get perfect rectangle. 
then we select the faces of the UV, select this bottom right one, then click L to select all and make all of them follow the one selected by clicking this. Next, we open the texture we created and we try to resize the UV to match with the texture and that will allow us to bring the texture on the ring. To add the texture onto the ring, we need to go to the shade mode and create new material and this looks like now the shader graph in Unity. We simply need to create a texture image node, then link it to the color of this material. Then the final thing we need to do is to extrude this uh, cylinder because it now looks like just a piece of paper. So let's go back to the modeling tab and there is an icon called extrude along the normals which allows us to extrude the game object along its normals and we do an extrude inward, I mean to the inside to give the ring uh, a realistic thickness. That's all what we need to do in Blender. Let's ex export this uh, game object or model as an FBX so we can import it into Unity. Let's create a new Unity project and to save time, let's start with the Unity 2020.2, which has an awesome new scene and materials to be used immediately. So create a new project using the Unity 2020.2 and using the HDRP render pipeline. Drag the ring into the scene and you will notice that it looks terrible because it doesn't have a material with double sides currently. And to save time, let's use the Unity Golden Brace material, which is applied to the ball in the scene to save time and as a start point for our ring. So select the, the ring and drag the brace material, which is inside the art material folder, brace material, drag it onto the ring and we got a nice golden ring, but it's not like the one ring we are seeking yet. So let's do some adjustments to make it look like the one ring. First, let's delete the Unity Ball to make the focus on the ring. The first thing we need to do is to change the material type from iridescence to the default or the... Yeah... The first thing we need to do is to change the material type from iridescence to the standard material. Then we go down and delete the base map so we can change the color of the ring to whatever we want freely. Change the color into something yellowish or orangish, I think. Exactly. And to make it a bit more pure or reddish a bit, we can increase the coat mask, the coat mask to the maximum. The only problem we're facing now, if we zoomed in a bit, we can see a repeated texture on the ring. And that's because of the mask map which is designed for the unity golden ball not for the ring and to solve that we can go to the inscript uh, ring texture we created in photoshop delete that and replace it with the brace map uh, mask map to fill the size of our ring texture and we can do that easily by holding the Alt and Shift keys in Photoshop. Now we replace the current mask map with the one we just created and we will get a nice smooth mask map that gives the ring this nice feeling of real golden one with some scratches on it. Now with the ring is ready, we only need to create a new material and new shader graph to apply the emission 
on the current material. So let's create a new shader graph, HDRP, lit shader graph, and let's name it emission, ring emission shader graph. It's a very simple shader which have two main components, uh, an emission texture where we will use the inscript ring text texture, but inversed. So in Photoshop or in any other photo editing software, just inverse the colors so the text will be white and the background be black. Then link that to a sample texture 2D and to color the emission, we need also a color property and we simply multiply the color with a sample texture 2D to colorize the emission. Then we link the results into the emission channel on the fragment. Save the shader graph, create a new material, name it ring emission, drag the shader graph onto the material, then add another material to the ring and drag the new material, the new ring emission material as a second material to our ring. But we still can't see the emissions because of four reasons. Reason number one is that we need to set the color mode to HDR and select a good color for the emission, something like yellowish and increase the intensity to something above 15. Second matter is we need to make this transparent. So we need to link the texture into alpha channel. And third reason, we need to set the surface size, uh, surface mode or type from opaque to transparent to make it show the material behind it since it is the second material. And finally, the fourth reason is to set the material type to double-sided material to allow us to see the emission perfectly on both sides. Then we simply can change the color of the emission and its intensity to match with the one ring. It's something like orangish, with an intensity around probably something like 15. Back to the one ring reference, I think the base color of the ring should be a darker tone, like more reddish. As a final extra step we can do you notice that the emissions are the same at all the ring and to give some variation or something like waves of emission on the surface of the ring, we can go back to the shader and create a gradient noise node, which we will control over time. So we will need a time node and we'll need a vector two parameter to control the speed on the X and Y axis. Then we multiply the speed over time to determine how fast the texture will scroll. And to scroll the textures, we need a tiling and offset node. First, we need to change the scale of the noise to be bigger so we get a nice waves of glows. So change the scale to something like one add tiling and offset nodes and link the results of multiply into the offset, then the result of tiling and offset into the UV of the gradient noise. Then we multiply the gradient noise with the sample texture 2D, then we multiply that with the color. Hit play and you can see now that the emission is like nice waves going around the ring and it's not uh, just simple, stable emission over time. To spice things up, I brought a fireplace and fire particles to the scene. I'll provide the link for all the assets I used in this project in the description. Then created a short, simple cutscene where the camera just zooms in the ring and while zooming in, we show the emission on the ring by increasing the intensity from 0 to 15. 
Additionally, I created a code that rotates the ring with a, with a, a desired speed in the desired rotation. Hit play and here is the final results I've managed to reach. I, I think it's a good resemblance to the original one ring from the Lord of the Rings. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video if you liked. Special thanks to our supporters on Patreon. Joseph Miaulin, Norbert Gorfol, Andres Philip, Iser the Sky Lord, Gustavo Augusto, Panda Owl, Brian Fonman, Zen Yang, Rami Hanano, Chen Ran Ning, Sky Rolnik, Kaiju Darius Cartinatis, Jos Enrique, Mohamed Aydin, Sergei Markushin, Pira Chanbunchen, Kev Tlesler, Fuard, TS, Saharbar, Alexis Speaks, Dimitri Pazilif, Bredman, Joshua, Pratushvil, Parker Nelson, Gakoko Mariani, Jos Lefever, Pedro, Jens Valentine, and Jack Crystal. Till next time, see you soon.